So Feijing honestly believes that these pills work for her, but I'm curious to find out if there's any kind of scientific evidence to support this. Helping me out is Dr. Eugene Tan. He's a senior consultant at the National Skin Centre who is deeply interested in how light affects the skin. How do these sunscreen pills work? So technically, these are not sunscreen pills. What they do is that they contain potent antioxidants that neutralise the after effects of the sun reaching our skin. Okay, so it doesn't work like a sunscreen, as in the kind of lotion that I apply on by deflecting the, the sun rays? Yes, that's right. They but do not deflect and they do not absorb ultraviolet lights. It's more of a neutraliser of the damage. When ultraviolet light hits our skin, what happens is that free radicals are being generated. And these free radicals are very dangerous because they can damage our skin cells. So what these pills do is that they neutralise and mop up these free radicals so that they are unable to exert any damage on the DNA in our skin cells. So Steve, let me give you an analogy of how antioxidants actually help to protect our skin from free radicals. So imagine if you have two slices of apples. You know, okay. Normally, these slices of apple, when left in the open, they will turn brown mm -hmm. because of oxidation from free radicals. So what happens is that, imagine if you have one slice of apple that is just left open on its own, and the other slice of apple, you actually coat it with some lemon juice which acts as a protective antioxidant layer. After a period of time, you will most likely see that the slice of apple that's uncoated will turn brown from oxidation, whereas the other slice of apple that is coated with protective lemon juice, yeah. which is an antioxidant, will most likely retain its original colour or turn just minimally brown. So from this analogy, you can see how antioxidants can potentially protect our skin from the harmful effects of free radicals. Do we need this kind of protection? Generally, I would say no. I mean, most of us will not require uh, this kind of uh, okay. oral sunscreen pills. Who then are the people that would require pills like this? These pills will be beneficial yep. in people who are highly sensitive to the sun. One of the examples will be what we call polymorphic light eruption. In this condition, Ooh. itchy rashes uh -huh. and lumps and bumps, they are usually red or it can be vesicular and blistering, appear on sun-exposed sites on the skin, such as the forearms. And okay. this happens after a short exposure in the sun. For most of us, if we can be out in the sun for like 30 minutes to an hour, we are okay. Mm -hmm. But for these people who are highly sensitive to the sun, you know, all it takes is perhaps you know, 10 to 15 minutes of sun exposure. Ooh. And subsequently, they will develop these very itchy rashes. Unless you have very sensitive skin, there's really no need to pop these pricey UV blocking pills. Regular sunscreen would suffice. You know, the skin is the largest organ on the human body, so I'm a bit surprised that many of us aren't too concerned about it. But now that I know just how damaging the sun can be on my skin, I see the importance of taking care of it. And so, I'm going to make sure I stay protected. Now, this, this fluid sunscreen here, this has become my top pick as it's easy to put on, not too sticky, not too oily. And all I really need is an SPF rating of no more than 30. But more importantly, I have to make sure I use enough of it. At least 10 ml for my face and neck. And also to remember to use it rain or shine, indoors or outdoors.